talk a lot, and I think when you are the fourth subject, you know, then I think you, you have the risk of repeating some of that. I'll try to give a little bit of what I have some experience around this area, and what Dexter has some experience around this area, and give some flavor. Okay. I think I heard uh, from Dr. Bala a definition of uh, uh, BA and BI, which, which was a little bit different from you know, what we actually in, in the uh, you know in our, in our uh, uh, organizations talk about when it comes to BI and BA. Right? BA is equated to advanced analytics in a sense, and, and, and that is one uh, one view of it. So, and BI actually typically. Uh, for the last 10 years, uh, 15 years that I have been with the uh, BI uh, technology, uh, you know, using that in the industry, this has been the typical, you know, uh, uh, kind of hindsight, interactively analyzing that kind of, uh, you know, tools and technology that we use. And analytics is more focused towards the, uh, the, the predictive and, and, and trying to be able to uh, get into the future. So I, I got a little bit different definition from Dr. Paula, but I think overall BI and analytics. Is evolving towards more of the uh, uh, you know the intelligence, the insights, and, and that's that's the kind of stuff. So uh, we talk about this. Uh, this is uh, actually from uh, Gartner analyst, right? So uh, in the BI landscape of things, uh, we have this descriptive type of analytics. So we are we are talking about what happened and uh, you know the, the description of uh, you know how things are happening. What, what is your, uh, you are measuring some very specific probably performance indicators in, within your business and you know, for various areas, right? Diagnostic is all about, okay, something has happened and you know, you, you try to analyze why it has happened and, and, and you do it in an interactive fashion. There are those tools and technologies and systems in place to help you uh, understand why things are happening the way they are happening, right? The predictive, uh, which is more around uh, you know what could potentially result. You understand your history of data, your model. Uh, you know uh, statistically, you uh, and then you kind of try to predict what would happen, right? And things of uh, predictive technologies have been there uh, for a long, long time, as uh, you know, Dr. also mentioned. Uh, but I think that has gained a lot more importance now uh, with data being around in uh, various forms, various uh, various sources. And being uh, and a lot of data that is that's getting generated uh, every day, right? So the predictive uh, is, is becoming more important. We see in, the, in our customer space where we have been I have been involved in the uh, BI, uh, uh, you know, uh, implementing various kind of BI systems for uh, our customers. Seeing more of this predictive type of uh, technologies being applied for the uh, business problems now. The prescriptive is kind of one step. Kind of understand model and you know and also try to predict what what would happen. You also recommend and actually take action on what uh, what needs to be done so that you can actually kind of uh, be prepared for the future. Right? So in, in, in this respect, again, there is a lot of examples that were uh, talked about case studies that were talked about by the uh, previous speakers. So one of the things that uh, Mercedes Benz is doing is actually having sensors in the in the cars and they are they are trying to improve the driving of people okay, by collecting all the data. In fact they, they have the ability to apply the brakes in the car if they sense there is a some kind of an emergency that is coming. That is the level of uh, you know, uh, data that they collect and analyze and in real time take action. Okay. Bosch, which is again a manufacturing uh, company, they are they are talking about self optimizing factors. So uh, they have the ability to automatically adjust the the uh, you know, uh, the settings to minimize the machine downtime, or they actually sense the machine downtime and automatically adjust the various parameters so that still the uh, the uh, productivity and uh, those things are maximized. So they, they they are looking at change in the supply of material, um, uh, change in order demand, all those parameters they are analyzing together to kind of optimize the uh, whole uh, factory. There are many such applications. Uh, Amazon, people talk about Amazon. Amazon actually uh, has this, they, they can actually ship something based on what you have been purchasing and they actually send it to the warehouse 
even before you order, that's how they claim it. Right? So, uh, and British Airways is another one where uh, they, they have RFID tagged most of the bags and, and they use that information to uh, have a leaner baggage uh, in the operation so that you know you, you can actually, the baggage handling is heavily automated. So those are some of the examples uh, and they fall into the entire spectrum, spectrum of things here. I mean, not just uh, for description and diagnostic, they are into more um, you know, predictive as well as you know, uh, prescriptive type of uh, things here. So, a little bit on what we see that is happening uh, in the industry. There's a lot of digitization. Everybody, uh, I mean, with the uh, social media and the mobile devices, uh, you know, and the, the kind of uh, IT enablement for cloud computing, etc. So, everybody is actually expecting a an experience uh, you know, based on all these parameters. So, the, the technology is there as uh, and pointed out the technology is there, but I think people are figuring out the interesting new ways of doing things and uh, operating in the digital world. Right? And uh, similarly, the other thing that is uh, also becoming very, very crucial is that you know now that there is a lot of data available through all these media, uh, many organizations are putting focus on being data driven, being analytics driven. That's uh, becoming a key uh, uh, focus area as we see. It. I mean, there are uh, organizations that have uh, many organizations that have a chief data officer and a chief analytics officer that are all becoming you know, uh, more and more prevalent now. And data scientists, chief data scientists, kind of uh, things that almost all the organizations that we uh, talk to and can hear about. A little bit on the big data, I think many people mentioned that, so we all probably are aware of the, the uh, three Ds, the volume, velocity, uh, variety. So this is also uh, you know, one factor that is changing the way people are actually looking at uh, you know, liberating data and, and uh, how, to, how do you manage this huge amount of data, variety of data, all that. The technologies are there, but again, the, how to leverage all that and Make useful, uh, create those use cases and actually make it effective for, for your business. I think that's where a lot more, a uh, lot, lot of things are evolving. Uh, I also want to touch upon one uh, little thing, like in, 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 with respect to big data. Um, traditionally, I mean, in the BI world, in the data warehousing, you know, and the BI world, we are used to uh, kind of uh, collecting data transforming them, storing it in a warehouse, and then uh, creating this interactive analysis and reports, etc. Right? With the, the kind of uh, need now with the big data, we are talking about doing a lot of data exploration. Right? That, that's one, one thing that has become very uh, important uh, in, you know, with, with the new kinds of uh, data that are available. Also, when you are dealing with these kinds of data, especially social media data and other things, you are it makes sense for you to analyze all that for what are people talking about your product services, all that, all the sentiments, etc. But a lot of the time, how much how much can you trust that data? That is also a, uh, so what do you use it for? Right? Can you, you know, the, the people are talking about different things. That could be opinion, that could be, you know, you, you need to actually uh, make sure that the, uh, there is the, on the one hand need for trusted data and uh, you know quality of data etc on the other hand these kinds of information that you are dealing with you also need to look at it in that context right and so uh, we are we, we are uh, looking at again data discovery platforms again again the tools and technologies are out there and it is it is uh, still i would say in certain areas like uh, you know, when it comes to social media data or your unstructured data, there are still, you can see that, you know, some of the tools and technologies that are out there, uh, you know, they, they probably are there to, to give you some level of accuracy, but you still need to work on, uh, uh, you know, some areas, and that is one of my areas where I've been spending a lot of time in just with unstructured data. And uh, there are ways and means where you can actually uh, improve that in the context of the problem that you are trying to solve. Okay, uh, looking at uh, you know how a typical BI analytics program, there are essentially three pillars, right? The, uh, the people, 
processes and technology like any other IT system, right? uh, IT program. So I think uh, one of the key things here is about as uh, you know was earlier pointed out the technology aspect. People are uh, there is enough tools, technologies, and uh, there is uh, you know this uh, scalability that is all achieved, right? And uh, people is a key thing. Uh, what we see as our challenge as an IT service provider is getting the right people uh, for performing the entire the overall uh, uh, functions. So again, it's, it's technology is one aspect. That itself is fairly complex. The uh, quantitative, analytical, data scientist kind of, uh, you know, that skill set is, is another aspect which I think, you know, that there we have some difficulty in getting those kind of people uh, given the kind of demand that is now there versus that we can get. But more importantly, how do you have the uh, you know the business problem identified, articulated, and modeled, and again interpreted, taken to the you know, and practically implemented? That requires that side of it also, which, which which makes it you know that's one big challenge that we face today. I talk about this essentially. Uh, so that, uh, when we look at our teams, that there are multiple skills, interdisciplinary skills that are required. On one hand, there's uh, you know the uh, data management, you know people that have that mindset to analyze data, modern and to discover, explore data, right? and uh, modeling the the problem also, which requires some understanding of the uh, statistic techniques, machine learning techniques, etc. And, and also some tools and technology aspects, and the business side, which is the third uh, key element. So uh, ideally, if you had somebody who had some knowledge of all, that would be the ideal person. I think that that we would look for. But uh, usually, you find people with separate different skill sets, and we try to you know kind of uh, bring them together. And I think a, a program like this uh, will help a, a, a business analyst. Are a business person to understand other areas as well, so that they can be effectively applied in the business problem that we are trying to solve. Okay, right. so these are all uh, again you know, talking about uh, uh, the end user, the consumers of information versus the the uh, the, uh, the how this is actually getting uh, uh, you know the translated to be able to consume. Right. So there is the analyst kind of uh, core here. So uh, any data organization is looking at data centric and analytic centric kind of a model where all these roles become important. And there are various functions you know, uh, for which we need to model the problem that uh, for each of those uh, you know, functions. And there are the, uh, the various end users, which could be your chief executives or your individuals, uh, you know, business managers, clients of business, etc. Okay. So, uh, I think uh, the, the key thing I wanted to say is this kind of a program where I think you know with the business uh, and the technology need to come together. I think that is key, and that is a challenge that we all see in the industry also. So I will leave it this slide. I think many of you might have also seen that. I think there is an important Harvard Harvard Business Review also that data scientists is, is a big thing. Uh, but uh, we can say what one of those reports say. It's not just the data scientists, but the people that with that are required to actually make it work right? in, in the business context. I think that is more important.